The civil rights movement in the United States was a period where African Americans were tired of inequality and they wanted the same rights as everyone else in America. One of the leading figures in this movement was a man by the name of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister, a proud activist, and as I said, one of the key figures during the civil rights period. He led the famous March on Washington on August 28, 1963, where Martin Luther King Jr. gave the I Have a Dream speech, one of the most famous speeches in American history. We must forever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. We must not allow our creative protests to degenerate into physical violence. Again and again, we must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul force. He believed in what he said, and he was very influential with his non-violent tactics. So what happened to him? Well, on April 4th, 1968, in Memphis, Tennessee, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel. While he didn't die at the motel, he was brought to the Memphis hospital, where he was pronounced dead at the age of 39. His assassin, James Earl Ray, was caught in 1969 and was sentenced to 90 years in prison. He died in prison in 1998. King was not the first civil rights activist to be a assassinated. On February 21st, 1965, three years before King would be assassinated, another famous civil rights activist by the name of Malcolm X was assassinated. And before Malcolm X, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated on November 22nd, 1963 in Dallas, Texas. Shortly after Dr. King's assassination, Attorney General Robert Kennedy was informed and he gave this famous statement on the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. I have some very sad news for all of you. And that is that Martin Luther King was shot and was killed tonight in Memphis, Tennessee. Martin Luther King dedicated his life to love and to justice between fellow human beings. He died in the cause of that effort. Two months later, Robert Kennedy would be assassinated in LA. The nation was shocked as their leader throughout the civil rights movement was gone. The King assassination riots occurred throughout the United States because people were so frustrated and upset that this happened. So why do we talk about this? More specifically, why did I choose to talk about this? Well, simply because of how influential Dr. King was. His death was felt by everyone in the United States. However, the civil rights movement would end around the time of Dr. King's death. But even though Martin Luther King Jr. never got to see his dream, his legacy still lives on even to this day, and that is something to be remembered for.